It's cold, dark, and places dirty. But for nearly a thousand Ukrainian refugees, the cots scattered across this empty shopping mall are home. Everything they own in a suitcase or just a few boxes, hundreds living here for the better part of a year. We are ready to help them as long as it would be uh, uh, necessary. Since the Russian invasion, 120,000 have passed through this shelter alone. And dozens continue to show up every day. Almost 10 million Ukrainians have crossed the Polish border since the war began, with tens of thousands continuing to make that trip. There's evidence of that influx most everywhere you look in Warsaw. Right now, around 150,000 Ukrainians are in the capital city. That number does fluctuate and has been as high as 300,000 in the last year. In times of crisis, people can actually come together. Warsaw's mayor is proud of his city's response. We have uh, granted Ukrainians citizen-like uh, rights. They've got rights to uh, uh, free education, free health care, free social services. We've enrolled uh, more than 17,000 kids to our schools. But he acknowledges it has put a strain on his budget, city, and social services, and understands that like the war, the humanitarian effort will likely continue and intensify. It's not going to end today or tomorrow. Back at the shelter. It is very hard. Anastasia is grateful for a place to stay, but dreams about the day she can leave. I really want to go back. Only when I got here, I realized how much what I had. Home was dear to me. We weren't rich, but it was home. Now she wonders, will her home still be there when it's finally safe enough to return? Jay Gray, NBC News, along the Poland-Ukraine border.